Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about Azure Key Vault Keys and Azure Storage Service Encryption, which is also called SSC. All right. So this is part of uh, Key Vault uh, videos. And then this is also part of AZ204 certification developing solution for Microsoft Azure. And in this video, we will see how you can create a cryptographic key and use that key to encrypt your storage account. All right, it will be very nice and interesting, useful things to know about Key Vault and how the encryption is working. So, without delay, come, let's get started. All right, I've logged into the portal. I have uh, existing Key Vault. I'm going into the Key Vault, and there is something called Keys, Secrets, and Certificates. So far, we have dealt with the secrets, and then let's talk about keys here. Okay, like I said in the video, key are nothing but the cryptographic important private keys right the keys which are secured and used to encrypt your hard disk or storage account or whatsoever okay so what i am going to do is i'm going to click on create and then the option is generate or you can import a key from anywhere so let's say generate let it generate okay so the name of the key um encrypt storage account just for my understanding okay this is the key type that you use rsa and then the size the encryption level of uh, the keys encryptor level okay this is the highest i'll go with whatever it is because we're just going to see the demo how it works and you can set the expiration and the starting date it's by default enabled and uh, what else uh, the con confidential key options export you can export this and i don't want any of these things let's uh, click on create now there is a key created okay so let's see what is the key see i can click on download public key and then it will download the key okay so basically if i try to open this basically it will have a key let me open and show you see it's a key basically it's a big key okay so using this key only the encryption is something that we are going to enable it okay let's go home and link on all resource i'm going to take a storage account as an example okay so let's say i take the storage account all right so i am going to take one example here i'm going to go to the storage account and then what all you need to do is so all what you need to do is you come scroll down coming here under the security there's something called security there's something called encryption click on encryption and then it will ask you see by default when you create you can choose or like you can use the microsoft managed key but if you choose customer managed key and then you can enter the url here or you can select the key from the key vault here see this is the key that i use let's select our key vault and there's one key that we choose is coming here if i select this it will become the key that is used okay so now we are also giving authentication mechanism that this storage account has the system identity the the managed the system assigned identity to authenticate itself and to get that key to encrypt the content of the this storage account okay so this is how you do and this is what called uh you know azure storage service encryption so you can use uh the key that has been managed by the customer to encrypt your own content okay there are uh, cases where it can also happen but when you choose this uh, customer uh, managed keys microsoft don't care if something happens to the key microsoft or anyone cannot uh, you know retrieve or decrypt the data it's gone it's gone okay it's encrypted if you cannot decrypt if you lose the key you're gone so that's how it is and this is how uh, it works and um, this is the last topic of the key vault from AZ20 certification perspective. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. And um, if you have not subscribed to my channels, do subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.